I'm Nikita for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Tabnet is an interpretable deep learning architecture developed by Google AI that combines the best of both worlds. It's explainable like simpler tree-based models, but can achieve the high accuracy of complex black box models and ensembles. Tabnet is now available in Vertex AI tabular workflows. Tabular workflows provides fully managed, optimized, and scalable pipelines, making it easier to use and deploy Tabnet without worrying about implementation details. To learn more about the Tabnet architecture, including the sequential attention mechanism, as well as the benefits of running this model on Vertex AI tabular workflows, check out the blog below. More AI news this week comes from the Google research team. What if when given instructions from people, robots could autonomously write their own code to interact with the world? It turns out that the latest generation of language models such as POM are capable of complex reasoning and have also been trained on millions of lines of code. When provided with several example instructions formatted as comments, paired with corresponding code, language models can take in new instructions and autonomously generate new code that recomposes API calls, synthesizes new functions, and expresses feedback loops to assemble new behaviors at runtime. To explore this possibility, the Google Robotics team developed Code as Policies, or CAP, a robot-centric formulation of language model-generated programs executed on physical systems. All of the code needed to reproduce the experiments, as well as an interactive simulated robot demo, can be found in the links below. Recognizing the need for a modular device integration interface in TensorFlow, Intel and Google co-architected Pluggable Device, a mechanism that lets hardware vendors independently release plug-in packages for new device support that can be installed alongside TensorFlow without modifying the TensorFlow code base. Intel extension for TensorFlow, the latest pluggable device, is now available and accelerates TensorFlow-based applications on Intel platforms, focusing on Intel's discrete graphics cards. To learn more about how the plugin implements pluggable device interfaces with one API, including device management, op and kernel registration, graph optimization, and profiler support, check out the launch blog linked below. The second stop in the Android Developer Summit was last week. In case you missed it, here are the top three announcements about form factors at the summit. The large screen category is growing, with over 270 million active large screen Android devices and expanding portfolio of tablets, desktops, and foldables to choose from. Compose for Wear OS is stable, bringing the modern UI toolkit to the wrist and making it simpler than ever to build exceptional Wear OS apps. And finally, for Android TV, the team has collected tips for building amazing living room user experiences, including some new platform features in Android 12 and 13. TV is an important part of the Android ecosystem, with one third of US households watching over 25 hours of content each week. Check out the full Form Factors playlist on YouTube to catch up on all the content from the summit. To learn more about all this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all of the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Nikita for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. It's always a plant show. This is my Etta Rose. It's got beautiful pink leaves.